Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Place here. Back to the video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, this video is going to be how to make an outfit shop game, um, stand, whatever you can call it, whatever you want to say it is. Um, you probably searched this up and you've probably seen my previous video that I made about this avatar stand. Now, um, yeah, this is going to be a fun little tutorial that we are going to talk about. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm happy to have you guys here. As you can tell, we have the game going on. We got the, the outfits, we got a most spent in game, and we have a live purchase board, and we have this, of course. Now, um, I quickly really just want to say um, this would have not been done or made if it wasn't for Looking for Henry and Felix. Um, Looking for Henry, I'll put the game in the description and put it on the screen. Um, they are the ones that actually help make this and finalize it and make all the buttons and all this new stuff um, to make this game. Um, they made it so much nicer. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was more looking for Henry, but um, they're so nice to give this to me for free and um, bring this to you guys as well. Um, so I really just want to go in depth with this today with you guys. Um, so really shout out to them. Uh, go check out their game. Everything's be in the description. Um, but yeah, so I want you guys to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that means actually like so much to me if you can um hit that subscribe button everyone like he's a lot um i really appreciate it and um yeah we're basically going to get everything started uh, i'm going to show you real quickly how it works like i said all the links are in the description so you just go in the base uh go to the description check it out <laughs> really easy really simple um but yeah so uh as you can tell when you look at this right here um we have a most spent in game and we have a spent leaderboard uh, leaderboard. Sorry, you can't really see that right now, but I'm um, up in the top right. And then we have a live purchase board and we have these little avatars. Um, and we also have this right here and more buttons. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff up here. Hide UI, open playlist. There's music going on that you can't even hear. Um, sorry, you can't even see these. Um, but yeah, so if I were to click run, like you can run, you can reset your avatar, reset outfit, got a live little board right there. Um, you can do a save outfit, you know, so if you want to save your outfit to Roblox or if you want to, you know, um, save it as your Roblox outfit, you want to click buy outfit. Um, you can see what's like already owned and what's not owned and stuff like that, which is really nice. So yeah, simple stuff. Um, this does come with a lot of cool like buttons and stuff. Um, I added little top bar stuff and blurs, all that cool stuff. But, um, yeah, so when you click it. It's going to pop it up. It's going to look like this. You can even drag it across your screen wherever you want, which is so nice. It has a little live view of the character. Um, it has the little button hovers. You can try it on. You can buy it um, if you want. So if I want to, like, try on that or whatever, um, if I want to click where, boom. Gets you in your character. You even got the animation for me. Pretty sure this is his outfit, which is awesome. This is a fire outfit. Um, but, yeah, so save as a new outfit. You can buy it. So it shows what is unowned. So if I want to buy that, then I buy that, um, of course. And yeah, if I buy something, so if I want to buy outfit, if I want to buy this shirt, let's see, eight bucks. Um, so I'm going to buy this shirt right now, okay? Let's go and hit OK. Now we got it owned. And boom, all purchases, live purchases. I just bought that. It shows what's made. And um, then, yeah, it shows. In, oh, this will probably update. It takes some time, of course. And that's pretty much it. And um, yeah, I go over here and um, wear this. Boom, change into this outfit. Really cool, right? So yeah, this game is public right now. It is on my page, uh, my Roblox page. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go to there. Um, yeah, you're basically just going to uh, go to the description, click that link, and it should just lead you to this game right here. Um, and uh, all you're going to do is, um, you know, just click you can play it but you just click this and hit download or uh, edit in studio and it should allow you to edit it and um yeah we're gonna go to uh the thing and uh we're gonna go to studio right now so um yeah let's hop right into there all right so i want to explain to you what we have going on there's a lot of stuff in this game i'm um, maybe a little confusing you i'm gonna show you how to literally just make an avatar real quick what you can do in this game there's so much you can do um all the scripts and everything about it now um let's just start off with the outfits plain and simple let's just go from this i think this is probably the easiest thing to do how do you create an outfit all right i played this in my last one i want you guys to get this load character pro plugin personally this is the one i've been using 
I know there is other ways to do this, but if you don't know how to get a plugin, I'll put the plugin in the description. You go to plugins in the creator store right here, and it probably should just be this one right here. It'll just be like the first one, this load character. Just get that. I promise you, it'll make your day so much easier. So, I all you need to do, and if sorry, I can do this real quick. Um, just see how there's a name. So I literally just do him. Let's just do him. The R15. Boom. Put him in. It's gonna give you this guy right here. This is the creator, by the way. Um, and this. So now you can see we have an outfits tab right here. Okay, this tab right here is what we're gonna be looking into to uh, make the button, the things. So you literally import it. All you delete in here is just the animate script, and that's it. And then we go into here, and we just name this seven. Okay. As you can tell, there is a seven though over this. So one thing you're gonna have to do is go inside, go to humanoid, display distance viewer, and go none. Bam. That's it. That's all you have to do. Literally done. So that works. That's all you had to do. That's it. And your outfit's ready. You can literally create hundreds of outfits and just pre-making them now. If you do want to make your own though, okay, let's say you do want to make your own, like you want to customize it. I think a lot of people were having troubles with this. So I want to explain to you that it is kind of different because you do have to do a few things. So if I were to have like wanting to make some aesthetic outfit or something really cool, um, I'd find a friend. Okay, let's say I want to do like my friend, let's go before CH. That's it, right? Oh, okay. This is an outfit. This is his outfit. Okay. So basically, okay. So it went up like that. Basically, he has this cool, cute outfit. Um, you can do whatever you want with this. I'm going to name this eight. And then I'm going to uh, go put this in outfits again. So, like I said, every time you do outfits, you're going to create a new number. Make sure it goes higher and higher. Okay. Don't, don't, uh, make sure you're renaming them one by one and go eight, nine, ten. That's all you're doing. It's very simple. Um, so, you have an outfit right here. Now, you want to add something to it. Okay. So we're going to go to the marketplace, catalog, whatever, and I'm going to add something funny I can add. I could add literally anything. Bunny egg shalom. I don't know. I want to do like, let's see what else I can add to this. Uh, no. 3D glasses. All right. So you see this right here. You got the 3D glasses. All you're going to do is just hit this download button. So hit the download button. If you guys don't have that, I think there is a way to configure to get that. I don't know if it's just my plugin. There's a way to download it. If not, you can just import it using import asset like through a script. Um, but you download it and then you just insert it. So you go to the model tab and you click this and it'll open your files and insert it. All right, so now I got it inserted and all I'm gonna do is just drag it into eight, okay? Boom, look at that, you see how it's added? See how that's added? Boom, literally so simple. <laughs> but there's one thing you gotta do. You gotta go to humanoid, humanoid description and um, you see how there's all these things. There's hair, hair, face accessory. You're gonna grab this ID, okay? This ID right here. So grab this ID, and then you're going to put that into face accessory, like that. And that's all you gotta do. Now, let's say you wanna add more accessories. You just hit a comma, and then you just copy and paste it again. That's all you gotta do, okay? So what that does is now, when you when you make your, you go and choose and click this guy, it's gonna show this this like, you know, Thing. so that's kind of what i mean by this um but yeah so pretty simple i'll even just publish this so you guys can have if you want um games in the description so easy but i'm gonna explain some other things for you okay um we're gonna go and look at all this so okay yeah these are the boards um you can customize these if you want these are just like the, the places like what you want to customize so do what you like with that it's totally up to you there's also like this particle thing like things like that you know just decorate it just Make sure it's not a f like touching anything like with the, um, the scripts and stuff because yeah, that's bad. But um, as simple as that is, um, basically, we have a lot of stuff we do need to look at. Um, so I'm going to open these all up. Server storage, starter UI, and then I'm going to start a player. So he did use a knit for this, and I kind of want to explain it to you, but I'm not the best with this. So I'm just going to explain mainly uh, the GUIs right here first and the top bar. So top bars in here, um, kind of a lot of code, but if you don't want the top bar, just hit disabled. But basically you have the hide UI in here. This basically just goes into the player's UI and just and disables all of these buttons and stuff. So that's good. You can just do that. Um, there's another reset button right here. This is the one to uh, reset the person. So um, that would reset you and uh, fix the GUIs as well. Um, and then 
this right here is to do the settings with the drop downs with the new top bar system, which I am making a video on. It'll be posted soon here talking about how to use these um, and uh, basically lighting blur, t time exposure. If you want to make more, you could just copy this portion and do another one like that and then make another one. You could do something different. Um, and then this part is just the open playlist, which is going to be that little playlist down here. So that's really nice. Um, and we have all these cool little songs. So you want to make another song, you guys, you just go in here and you just copy and paste like this and you just rename this and get the asset ID, which is just in a sound ID. So you could go to your toolbox and you can go to like audio um, and <coughs> grab something in here as as it pops up or whatever but yeah you could just grab something from here and get the id and that's works um but yeah so honestly kind of nice i like that little system so he just kind of left in extra stuff for you guys which is nice um but yeah so there is also like loading screens which is nice there's these buttons so this kind of talks about the buttons right here bios it reach out blah, blah blah now if you guys do want to make these into a top bar that is very easy um it's it's actually that's pretty simple um, there is an effect module, so that kind of like allows you to like do effects like put like this is that um, star stuff when you hover over it. But if you do want something like this, um, I'm pretty sure the buttons, I don't know. Yeah, chat customizer. There's some cool chat stuff we'll talk about. Um, the buttons in here, um, you'd basically go to your top bar if I'm right. And... Uh, yeah, top bar, of course, and you'd make a new, you'd copy and paste this, and then basically what these are doing is it's just opening the GUI, so you would do the same thing, like, as what this is doing. You just set a new button, as in, like, save outfit, buy outfit, things like that, and you can put it in the top bar. It's really simple. Um, I could do that as another thing later on. Um, this is another save to Roblox button, which is nice, so that's nice to look at. Um, you wouldn't need to be careful, though. Yeah, it looks like you have to be careful because of the button, like... This is like triggering the buttons and stuff. Um, reset, um, purchases, messages, um, that's nice. Purchase clothing, this just shows you. Particle emitter, music, um, blur. This is the knit handler, so kind of what I was talking about, which we'll go into in a sec. Um, so you don't have to worry about changing anything of those. Um, there's other scripts you do need to worry about. So knits, UI, um, the knit stuff, um, controllers, and stroke handler you don't need to worry about those save outfit script save outfit controller this kind of save out this saves everything i don't know what he did and how he did this but give to him because this is awesome um so this is just everything in there you don't need to worry about any of these make sure they're just good in there um and then soft shutdown he does have a soft shutdown which is nice um and then uh yeah robux spent purchase handler for these ones as well as you can tell you need all these so that's really nice um oh yeah i should probably explain a little bit sorry um yeah so these are robux spent leaderboard um purchase handler i will just say um yeah i mean pretty much like yeah this just checks if someone buys something and then um it just lets you know and then this is a notifier as well which is going to go towards these screens um knit handler here chat tags um, chat tags is something I added. So if you guys do want to uh, change this, you can. Uh, pretty simple. So like owner tags, you'd want to put your uh, name in here or get rid of these guys. You know, up to you. Sim plays dev. You'd want to use the, your actual username. Uh, there is admin tags. There's group ID. So you know, if you have a group ID, put your group ID in here. And um, there's the owner, developer, admin, VIP. Um, and then it's going to check via uh, names and then group IDs. So that's another thing. So yeah, put your, um, if you have a rank for developers or admin tags, you just go to your group, make sure you get your group ID and put that in here. There's also a game pass if you want to do that. So that's kind of nice. Um, headless and core blocks command. I didn't know he did that, but you know, those are my commands. You could do an add in, um, stat badges. These are kind of nice actually. Um, if you want, you can change these to, so this is time. I'd recommend just changing them to spent and you know if like there's a badge you want to give to someone so like if you want to give someone like a badge for hitting 500 robux spent you can do that by putting your badge id uh 500 is what they need to reach and then you would put spent in here so um things like that um i would probably go like this and um, yeah, i probably should update that for you 
but um pretty simple um creating badges are not too hard like i was kind of mentioning um that last one um so yeah simple enough um i probably could have my name in there too group id simple stuff i'll even just, just do that real quick so i'll grab my group id put that right there there's the developer tag so what i was trying to say you guys sorry is you go to roles and then um you know you look in here you say the ranks so if i want like community staff so 253 so i could go like yeah, 253 or something i'll probably go down to this one like 253. and then owner tag is what i get or whatever um and then yeah so that works and then services scripts realism mod oh um yeah outfit viewer this is actually the one i'm i'm really happy you did this because this is the one i really wanted to get um but yeah so using the knit i'm really bad with knit and a lot of people wanted me to teach it so i don't know when that's gonna happen but <laughs> pretty cool um like i said just don't really touch anything i'm sorry i can't really explain much um i'm not really familiar with this kind of code or this whole thing that he did i mean i could try and just do it one by one it's gonna take me about a minute um save outfits though like you know row proxy is the biggest thing getting the bundles um, so that's really nice. This allows you to save your outfit uh, via the row proxy link. Um, so that's really nice. Um, and then we have, yeah, reset, knit handler, everything like that. And then there is just some realism mods if you want to keep them. You don't have to, like hide player names. You don't really have to keep that. Ragdoll, you can do that if you want. Totally up to you. Um, but yeah, so, um, and then soft shutdown, of course, right here. And there's also probably like a little shutdown UI, which you can just see if you want. Um, um, and then uh, disable client, which uh, remove default lighting screen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys kind of understand how that works. Um, it's it's really simple to just make them and make avatars, and you can do anything you want with this, guys. Really, just be creative. But this has all the scripts, so like I really recommend just like copying and pasting. Or honestly, if you're making a game, I just build it inside of this game, make a download of it, build it inside of the game, and then start building off of it because you don't want to really mess with the scripts um but when it comes to these buttons like i said if you want to make a top bar super simple stuff i could probably make a little portion later on showing you how to do that um i am gonna do a little update soon talking about um how to like do outlines when you come up to a player like having the like avatar like raise when like you come near it some cool stuff so we'll figure it out but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy just a little tutorial nothing too crazy feel free to like the video if you can um, I really just like huge shout out to, um, huge, oh, like, huge shout out to look, uh, Henry. Um, that was, that was awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so this is out there for you guys. Nothing too hard to do or make, but, um, the save and buy outfits they did for me. So I'm really glad they did that. It was very helpful. Um, and also I kind of didn't really mention if you guys kind of want to mess with the, um, outfit. Uh, this should be it right here. Let's see. Yeah, so if you do want to mess with this you can um, Totally up to you. You just gotta like go in here change some things out um, You know change the colors totally up to you guys. That's up to you, but yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did feel free to like comment and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye